To start things off, I created a new presentation with only a single empty slide. Let's begin by clicking on the text box tool. Click somewhere around the middle of your slide and type the text you wish to put your video inside. Change the font of your text to Arial Black or a font of your choice. Increase the size of your text so that we will be able to see plenty of our video inside of it. Click and drag on the edge of your text box to reposition it to the center of your slide. Next, click on the Format tab and click on the Text Fill drop down button. Select any color that isn't black. We don't want to use black because we will be using black for our background and we want to be able to see our text on the background. After that, click on the Text Outline button and select No Outline. Now go back to the Home tab and in the Drawing section select the Rectangle tool. Click and drag to cover your entire slide with a rectangle. Once you have your rectangle, click on Shape Outline and select No Outline. Then go to Shape Fill and select Black. Right click on your rectangle and select the Send to Back option so that we can see our text. Now what we want to do next is use our text to cut a hole into our rectangle background so that when we place our video behind our background, we can see it through the text hole. To do this, while holding down the control key, click on your rectangle background and then click on your text box. Make sure you do it in this order or it won't work right. Once you have your shape selected, go to the Format tab. Click on the Merge Shapes drop down button and select the Subtract option. Next, we're just going to head over to the Insert tab, click on the Video drop down button, and select the Video in My PC option. Find the video you'd like to use for your text and then click Insert. If you need to, use the handles to stretch out your video to fill your slide. Now let's head over to the Playback tab to change a few of the video's options. We're going to want it to start automatically and loop until stopped. Finally, all we have to do is send our video to the back to complete the effect. Now when I start my show, we can see the full effect in all its glory. And that's all there is to it. You now have a nice looking video and text effect in PowerPoint.